In context, the Apostle Paul writes in Romans 14, I know and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself. He continues to say in verses 19 and 20, Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. For meat destroys not the work of God. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil for that man who eats with offense. Allah's works are one eternal round. As Jesus said, He is the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega. The book of Genesis takes us into the story of creation as the book of Revelation closes us back into a story of creation. The first will be last and the last will be first. Truly God's works are one eternal round. Now something the Holy Spirit showed me is what is called the Enzo Circle or the Zazen Circle in Buddhism. Um, this is exactly what it means in truth. God's eternal round and what he does in our lives. We may be born with um, traumas and things that may not even be our fault that we're grown into, but he uh, makes us recover and repent of those traumas bringing our lives into an eternal round, hence refining us um, as the purest of gold. In this video, we're going to see the reflections of the Enzo Circle in the rare text, The Annuals of Elohim. We're going to dive into Fragment 5, Psalms from the Lighted Path. Specifically, Psalm 4. Now this is clearly a psalm of the unified Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But this is also about God's eternal round and that path that we walk with God. His um, cleansing and purifying of our dross within our souls. Um, as the Book of Mormon gets into... Um, you know, those who answer their call, who say yes to their call, will indeed be cleansed in such a way. My law is harmony with all things. Mine is the secret that opens the gates of life, and mine is the dish of the salt of the earth. That is the body of Sananas. Now, this is actually one of the corrections that have to be made in the text. Um, I did restore this text. Um, Sernanus is a Greek god of wild things. And, significant, and um, the horn is significant in his um, deity. Now, if people have a problem with Greek gods being in Scripture, um, this stuff is in Scripture. Um, it is um, the tripe. The tripate parte in the Nag Hammadi scriptures um, gets into this. Um, again, all things are pure for those who can receive it. So continuing, um, mine is the secret that opens the gates of life and mine is the dish of the salt of the earth, the body of Knanos, which is... <coughs> Let's start off. Yes. So in essence, the dish of the salt of the earth is the body of wild things, which essentially becomes the horn, right? So the dish that holds the salt of the earth. Jesus commanded us to be the salt of the earth. So the body of that, that dish is the body of wild things. Our repentance, or that Enzo circle, God, you know, as the scriptures say, um, who can know the heart? Only God knows our hearts. It's deceitful above all things. So our walk brings up wild things. He brings up things within us that we don't even understand that, that are in us. So 
that dish that holds the salt of the earth that we're supposed to be is the body of wild things, which essentially brings on what a horn, an alarm, um, authority, right? So this is the eternal circle of rebirth, as the scripture says. It's quite amazing if you can receive it. So let's go on to verse 3. I give the knowledge of life everlasting, and beyond death I give the promise of regeneration and renewal. Truly, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the deity of Christ, does that. I am the sacrifice, the Father of all things, and my protection blankets the earth. Hear the words of the dancing God, right? God, God, God dances, guys. The music of whose laughter stirs the winds, whose voice calls the seasons, okay? God dances. You don't know where the wind comes or where it goes, right? And he makes um, day into night and night into day, winter into summer and summer into winter. It's the Lord who calls the seasons. I am, I who am the Lord of the hunt, and the power of the light, sun among the clouds, and the secret of the flame. These are, these are awesome, profound, profound words. I who am the Lord of the hunt. Right? We are fishermen, are we not? And the power of the light, sun among the clouds. Now, all these anomalies we have seen with the clouds in these days, clouds are... Or, or witnesses, or the strength of the Lord, um, supernatural manifestations of angels. He is the sun among the clouds, and the secret of the flame. Fire is a spirit. Fire is beyond, really reaches beyond our material existence. There's a secret in fire, and that secret is found within Christ. The spirit, the, the, the secret of the spirit of the flame is found within Christ. I call upon your bodies to arise and come on to me. For I am the flesh of the earth and all its beings. Through me all things must die and with me are reborn. Right, we must be born again. Let my worship be in the body that sings, for behold, all acts of willing sacrifice are my rituals. These are amazing, amazing verses to be meditating on. Let my worship be in the body that sings, for behold, all acts of willing sacrifice are my rituals. Hallelujah. Truly, hallelujah. Let there be desire and fear, anger and weakness, joy and peace, awe and longing within you. For these two are part of the mysteries found within yourself. Right? Ecclesiastes 3, there's a season for everything. Within me all beings have endings, and all endings have beginnings. So mote it be. Now what is mote? Mote is the boiling of a mixture of grains that come from South America, that come from the South, right? The land of the Mormons. So mote it be, and that is, um, the South is where the summer season um, thrives. So mote it be. Amazing, amazing. And it's amazing how we see um, this essentially is a psalm of the Zazen of the Enzo circle, if you could receive it. Thank you for tuning in. Allah bless you.